is my outfit of the day i just curled my hair and i'm wearing this really pretty dress from target it's like a midi dress but it's super super just spacious and flowy it's got like ruffle detailing and i'm just wearing them with some sandals and my apple watch so i am now in my plan time by the way i've been using these masks i got like a pack of 50 i think it was these on amazon they're like the earth tone ones but they've been nice because they don't break me out which i just need that right now the other masks were great the ones that i used were kitsch masks but i think they just were like they were too much and then because I would wash them in the wash, some of them would get ruined easily. So I just bought a pack of 50 of these and I love them. So in writing, we just started talking about informative essays. So if you guys are also doing a benchmark, um, I don't know where you guys are at, but we just started unit one today. So what we did today was we read a mentor text and I really liked today's lesson because I feel like it really prepped the students for what an informative essay is. So we just talked about what do you guys think an informative essay is? They said it must have information, it probably has facts, and it has a specific topic. So that was nice, like a little refresh. And then we read a mentor text. Um, it's called Woodpeckers Are Talented Birds. And then we went ahead and talked about like what is an introduction? What is a conclusion? Informative essays include those two things. And then we went in, I just read paragraph by paragraph. And then I had them decide like, which things to annotate because we're practicing annotating as well so like underlining highlighting um the facts and details so i read that they live in the forest of north america that is a fact we highlight that we talked about what they look like how they're red coloring they can be black white or brown that is also another fact so we highlight that and then towards the end i just asked um i read this last paragraph which is actually an opinion it says that woodpeckers are truly special they're beautiful i asked them what the difference is between that paragraph and the very first paragraph that we read and then i just had them write down three you guys probably can't see but i had them write down three of the facts that they found because eventually they should learn and know how to write their own informative essay um so later on in the unit it'll ask them or give them another text about, about chipmunks or something and then it's going to ask them to write their own four paragraph essay on chipmunks details introduction conclusion all that good stuff so i wanted them to have something to practice on and then also to look back on so that is all we did for writing this morning that took a good 45 minutes or so it didn't take as long as i thought um, because we had some good participation um writing a four paragraph essay is like a lot of work and just a lot of information to use when you don't have that much knowledge or background information on essays so um hopefully that goes well I also printed off this for it and so um, they'll get to do some more practice on deciphering like the paragraph, what details are in there and then what the main idea is of the text that they read. That is pretty much it for all we did this morning. We just had our morning meeting. Um, I don't know if you guys know but for morning meeting I just for the first 20 minutes of class I have them just come in, eat breakfast. Um, talk to their friends i'll show you guys my slides i just actually uploaded my slides on tpt if you guys are interested on um what i use for my daily slides i'll show you really quick what i have so here are the slides that i use um it just says hello friends monday september 13th um and i just add my bitmoji and things like that i also just made a bunch of colors that i added on my tpt like if you don't like this color scheme 
Um, and then yeah, here is what we did in writing today, my reading group. So every morning I have this teaching playlist and I talked about this last year, but I play this song, Sit Next to Me, and I turn it up to volume 10 so that everyone can hear it. During that time, they are still eating breakfast, but they know their five minute warning. So they know this song is about to play. Um, I go ahead and play that song really loud. And then I go ahead and turn the lights off. I don't say a word. I just turn the song on because I know that they need that independence. They know, okay, oh, that song is playing. That means I need to take myself down to the carpet. My job is to push in my chair, clean up my table, clean up breakfast, and then I'm headed down to the carpet. It is time for morning meeting. And so then everyone just kind of gathers around in a circle and gets ready for our morning question of the day, which today it was what did you do this weekend every monday is what did you do this weekend um and so just having that routine where i don't have to constantly be talking i compliment them when they come down but i'm just saving my breath because they know when that song comes on it's time for morning meeting and so um whenever my friends come down quickly and they come down quietly we pass this around then we use some germix after because everyone's touching the same stuffed animal but anyway so every time i mention intervention in my videos or something someone always asks me what intervention is and um i guess i just assume that everyone knows what that is but at our school what it means is you group your students into specific needs that they have and usually for intervention it's like reading or math but at our school for right now what we're doing is just reading right now um finding intervention groups for reading so Usually it's like if you need to pull a group for different math skills or different reading skills, like a group needs work on fluency or a group needs work on phonics or phonemics, something like that, then you would group those students based on what they need after you take your testing, you're done with your testing and then you group them. But we just got done with testing. So I have not grouped any of my students yet. I will do that probably by next week, maybe later on this week. Um, so. I haven't done that yet, but I know like kind of where my kids are reading and um, fluent wise, I know where they are. So um, in Benchmark, which that's our curriculum, so that's what I'm using. This is our like small group reading text. It's grade four, unit one. Um, and they're all lettered here, as you guys can see, O, P, Q, so on. And so the lower letters are the more the beginning reader text. So the first book is called Inspired by Nature. So that is a text I would read for maybe some of my students who are, that are reading on a lower level than some of my other students. And it also comes with like a pamphlet that looks like this. And it literally gives you everything that you need to go over. So they say like a successful reading intervention group starts off with just previewing the text. So like looking at the cover, talking about what this book might be like. And so I'd say, hey, so-and-so, what do you guys think this book is going to be about? What is the title? Um, what do you guys see? What do you notice? Just talking about those things, previewing it first. Look at some of the text features. So you're looking at photographs, captions, glossary. Maybe flip through the book. It talks about next you're going to build social and emotional mindfulness. So you're going to help build self-awareness by examining how other people might feel about nature. So listening to what they say about what they think the book could be about. I'm probably going to read the first few pages to them. And then I'm going to talk about different questions that I might have, questions that they might have. And then we might talk about what the main idea of the first reading is. Um different things like that. Like what could we be looking for whenever we read this first text? So for example, this one is called Inspired by Birds. So we might be looking, what do we think this text might be about? Why are some of these words bolded? What could these mean? How could they help us read? Some of these texts are super, super hard. And I might even have to dif differentiate with different students. And I might go in and do like a third grade level book, but I'd have to do that on the benchmark app. So, it just depends on what my students need and like this may this book that's the very first book in the unit um in the lettering wise it might be the hardest book that i have and it might be that my highest kids or my highest readers are reading that book instead and my other readers may be reading third grade level books i recommend just maybe looking up what intervention is at our school it's just reading or it could be math and it's definitely just based on the skills like maybe some students need more help on place value or adding or things like that and that's maybe that's just what they work on for my small group um and intervention time is only about 
25 to 30 minutes so it's not a long time also i wanted to show you guys my school got this for us but i have legit been using this every day it's amazing i'm really happy last year they actually asked us if we wanted a voice amplifier or a mic for when we teach and i love it because i'm so out of breath nowadays and i have my mask on and stuff it's from the brand zoe tech i think is how you pronounce it you can find this on amazon um i just wear this like when i'm doing whole group lessons i'll put this on like a lanyard it's really chunky and big but honestly it is so nice i just put it on like this and then i don't have to raise my voice so yeah that's what it sounds like and it's super loud i can turn up the volume if i need to i love this because i can have my voice at a normal voice level and i know i look crazy but i have my voice at a normal voice level i can turn it up and i feel like it's really good for students who have a hard time focusing and have a hard time maybe listening to me as i'm teaching so i try to walk around as i'm teaching i usually will walk around and like kind of circle my tables as i'm talking so that i know my students are listening but then they know i'm coming whenever they hear the speaker too so i like that because i feel like it really does help the students who have a hard time focusing um just listen in on my voice so i love that i'm so grateful that my school provided that this year because it has been really really useful so yeah, I am probably just gonna um, go hang out with my team and see what they need and see what we're gonna do for the rest of the week. But yeah, I will catch you guys later on today. Okay, so in math, we are gonna be looking or doing a two day lesson. This is all from the book and what the students are trying to do is they're trying to figure out if there's a certain amount of muffins or whatever it is, how many can they fill up? How many boxes can they fill up fully if they have a certain amount of muffins? And so what I thought about using is these base 10 blocks, like using the single one so they can figure out how many boxes they can fill up using the amount that they have. So they're gonna have to figure out how many muffins will go in the rest of the boxes for the remainder. And so I think using the single base 10 blocks will really help. We use everyday math and so we're on 1-8. We always do mental math and fluency on our whiteboard. So I'll ask them to get out their whiteboards. We do all of this stuff together and then they show me on their whiteboard how they do it. Um, math message we always do as whole group as well but this time it is on a piece of paper which is fine and it's gonna just look like this they'll need one box of 25 bagels um, to fit 27 and then they'll need two single boxes to fit 27 so they're learning how to group and then they will go in and do their own worksheet so they'll go in and do their own worksheet and this one is a little bit different they're trying to crack a code and then it goes into day two as well so like going over the answers how we got them things like that okay please show me in three then you're ready for math please show me in two and one zero you will be doing on your whiteboard first off let's go ahead and read our i can statement for today repeat after me I can, I can recognize, recognize the relationship, the relationship, the relationship, the relationship between, between the places and whole numbers. The places and whole numbers. Okay. Do not write it yet. I want you just to look. I see eyes. I just wrote this. One, three, nine. 27. Oh, I am skipping numbers. Good. Okay. What is the pattern here? Do we see anything without even writing anything down? I just want you to share. What things do you notice about this pattern really quickly? Ooh, it's tripling. Let's go into more detail about what that actually means though. Because I said if a number triples, what is it, what is it actually doing? Oh, they're also all odd numbers. They're not even numbers. Good point. Good. Okay. Stop right there. Look here. 1 times 3. What is 1 times 3, friends? Shout it. 1 times 3 is 3. Listen, this is the one that we just had, and James told us that every time it triples. So let's see if it triples. I have to multiply each of these numbers by what if I'm tripling it? 3. By 3. Okay? So here's my next number. 3. What am I going to multiply it by? 3. 
three. What is three times three? Nine. Nine. Is that the next number here? Yeah. Yes. Done. My next number is what? Nine. Nine. And what am I going to multiply it by? Three. I have nine, and I'm multiplying it by what? Three. Three. What is nine times three? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Is that the next number? Yes. Absolutely. Does it look like we are finding the pattern? Yes. Yes. We have one more. We're trying to fill in this blank. Listen. We're trying to fill in this blank right here. So I know I have to put 27 times what? Three. Three to triple it, like you said, because that's the pattern. What is 27 times three? Try it on your whiteboard. Whew. Okay, guys, no joke. It is now 326, and our contract time is over at 255, but there's been some like issues with buses and people quitting. There's not enough bus drivers, and so so many kids are waiting for buses and then oh man it is such a mess but um some of the teachers stayed back and just helped out with getting kids to the correct area because there's still no buses and i think someone just has to come like pick them up or something but yeah there's like a shortage on buses right now so it's been a little crazy this afternoon i was just drinking a premier protein thing just trying to get my protein in during the day now that i'm pregnant i just want to make sure i have like enough vitamins and nutrients protein all that good stuff i am going to orange theory soon and um orange theory is at 5 45 but i haven't even like been in here since math so we've got things just all over the place not sure where i left off the janitor came in and we just chatted it up a parent a super nice parent donated so many snacks in my room we've got goldfish veggie straws cheese it's <sighs> i'm amazed and very happy my kids will be very happy and i just store all of my snacks i put it in like my little filing cabinet over there so whenever my kids need snacks i just tell them to head over there i just cleaned up a little bit in here my banner keeps falling so i'm just gonna leave it for now but room is looking clean i have a student birthday tomorrow and so i what i'm gonna do is I got these like oh, stickers from the dollar store. They just say happy birthday. I might just give my birthday student like one of the stickers. They can pick one, wear it on their shirt or something all day. And I'm gonna give them a special pencil that I have. Like I have a huge stash of like colorful, cool pencils. And then I'm just gonna print off a happy birthday coloring sheet. And then I make sure to put um, on my smart board in the morning for a morning meeting, like happy birthday blank. So I make it really simple guys. Literally, I'm just on Google. I typed in happy birthday coloring sheet and I'm just gonna pick one, print it off. And then in the morning when that student comes in, they'll just have like little knickknacks ready on their table. So it'll just be kind of like a nice little surprise without doing anything too crazy. All right, here are my slides. I just have hello friends. I have what is your favorite food? I always put a matching bitmoji, change my date. And then I just put happy birthday over here on the side. So when my students come in, they can see that it is that student's birthday. And yeah, that's all I'm doing besides the sticker, the coloring sheet and a pencil. Oh my goodness. Just got done with orange theory. And you guys, that was such a tough workout. Like now that I'm 27 weeks, I'm 27 weeks today, by the way, now that I'm 27 weeks, that was just so tough. Like you can see, I'm just glistening. I burned, let's see, it was a benchmark day. So I'm just, I'm, I'm still getting used to what Orange Theory is and everything, but today I did 541 calories. I don't know, today was just a tough day. So I don't know if I just hadn't had like enough water today or what, or I'm just pregnant. I'm going home now and gonna make some mac and cheese and steak for dinner. So I'll see you guys at home. All right guys, I just finished dinner and I'm gonna relax here. I'm gonna edit today's video a little bit. So a little trick that I have is if you're doing YouTube too, I just try to edit my videos maybe like 30 minutes a day just so that I'm doing a little bit at a time and not just rushing and trying to do it all in one day. So just a little tip, but yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed today's day in the life and I will see you all next time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next in my future video so I know what you guys are wanting to see. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your week or weekend and I'll see you all next time. Bye. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah.